Hello students, how are you? Uh, this is a class for the intermediate level, unit 2, the phrasal verbs, okay? So let's study the phrasal verbs. In, let's, in unit 1, we studied in a general form all the phrasal verbs, okay? How they work, uh, when the phrasal verb is possible to be separated or not, okay? When it's a literal or idiomatic phrasal verb. Now, in unit 2, we start uh, seeing the first idiomatic phrasal verbs. All of them have the verb come in common, okay? This is more intermediate level, really knowledge of phrasal verbs. Uh, these phrasal verbs, they are very specific in meaning, that's why it's considered intermediate and not basic, okay? So let's go for the first stud. According to your unit 2, page 13, the first phrasal verb in that list is come along, right? The meaning I have there is come along, arrive at a place. Okay, so come along is the verb arrive at a place. When you're going to make a sentence about uh, come along or with the phrase of verb come along, you're going to say, for example, yesterday I came along James Parry at about midnight. Okay, so the phrasal verb come along, it's a verb you can put in past, past continuous. I opted for past here, see? Came along. And it means you arrive at, at a place. So you arrive at Janie's party. Okay? Now, uh, I'd like you to copy this sentence in your material. And when I ask you to make a sentence with come along, uh, I would like you to make up your own, to invent your own example. But have this sentence uh, as an example, okay, in your material. Number two is the phrasal verb come apart. In our material, it says, come apart, separate into pieces, okay? Uh, students, if the meaning is separate into pieces, of course, I cannot say I uh, come apart, because it gives the idea I separate into pieces. It's more logical to put what? Something that breaks, okay? Uh, objects, all right? Uh, let's suppose I was uh, trying to fix my PC, okay? And I was there trying to fix, and by mistake, the PC came apart. In this case means it broke into little pieces, okay? Uh, it must have falling uh, down, okay, and came apart. Another very simple example, a, a vase, a vase with flowers, I was carrying the vase and oops, the vase came apart. Not me, I can't come apart, okay, because I can't be in two pieces. However, in a romantic way, uh, I can say that my heart came apart, but see, my heart came apart, metaphorically speaking, because I broke up with my boyfriend, okay? In this case, all right, but it's my heart that came apart, okay? Uh, I'm going to write an example with come apart. Uh, the children were playing with a ball and it hit on 
the TV and ta -da, the screen came apart. <laughs> okay? So the phrasal verb is came apart and the the TV was hit by a ball and the screen, the TV screen came apart. Okay, it cracked and some pieces fell off. Okay. Now, next phrasal verb. Two possibilities for the preposition. Come around or come round. Okay. In our material, we have the explanation. Come around or come round. Become conscious again okay let's imagine it here because i'm going to write an example so i'm going to give you some background story okay uh, a teenager hadn't been eating for quite some time and this teenager didn't feel very well yesterday because of lack of food so the teenager fainted lost conscious okay uh, this teenager was taken to a hospital after some hydration okay the teenager came around so that means the teenager opened the eyes and returned to conscious okay so let's see the story first teenager hadn't eaten second felt very bad and poof fainted mm, people took the teenager to a hospital okay in the hospital after treatment hydrating the teenager the teenager mm, opened the eyes and said oh what's going on where am i so the teenager came around okay uh, so, after fainting in school, the teenager was taken to a hostel. And the team finally came around. Okay, so I gave you the background story to be more specific in the meaning. As you can see, class, I'm going to emphasize this. Uh, these phrasal verbs are really uh, intermediate level, advanced level, because they need a specific situation. And students, phrasal verbs are like new vocabulary, and they are uh, very famous for being natural speaking. They are more um, slang style. I recommend you to try to get used to them, okay? Uh, some students really avoid using them, your English becomes a little unnatural, okay? Uh, so try using them, okay? Make sentences, copy mine as a basic example, a basic, okay? And then make your own. I, I always like students to make their own example, okay? Next phrasal verb in our material, phrasal verb number four we have here, come out become public knowledge after it has been kept a secret of the truth okay uh, come out there are many possibilities of uh, a meaning so i singled out this one to become public knowledge and of course it must be some kind of information that was kept private and then for any reason it comes out the information comes out 
Okay, pay attention to the person. It's not you. You know, you are not information. It's something comes out. Okay, so it becomes public knowledge. All right. So uh, many people are thinking of uh, this virus of COVID nineteen that uh, there are a lot of information that hasn't been told to the public uh, but sooner or later this, uh, this information uh, must come out okay what i mean is uh, people are saying that the numbers we have uh, on television of uh, covid19 uh, cases are not the real numbers Sooner or later, the real number must, okay, will, okay, come out because authorities uh, cannot hide away the secret, okay, or this information. All right, students, so I'm going to make a sense about this, okay? The number of infected people by COVID-19 uh, will come out sooner or later. So, because teacher used come out, obviously we are talking about an information that is not public. And teacher is using future, so I, I believe that this information will become public when? Sooner or later, okay? So, remember, uh, again, I'm going to emphasize, is the information, see, the number, this is the information, the number that will come out, see, the information is the number, all right, that will come out, okay? Don't forget to write down these examples in your material, okay? Now we go to phrasal verb 5, 